Well, hello there. Um, today I'm out in the shed and I'm going to be crushing up some gold ore and this rock here that I believe there's some gold on using my jaw crusher and my blender. Um, I'll show it to you, but uh, then I'm going to go and try and melt it into a gold button. I've never tried it before, but I've got everything to do it now, so that ought to be fun. I'll show you my little setup here. So this is my little jaw crusher. I think it's called the Crunch. Um, it works pretty dang good. I've had it for a couple years now. You can adjust the jaw, whatever. You use a breaker bar, but I use my 3H drill on it. Works great. Here's uh, some uh, crushed gold ore that was given to me. I've already taken some of the gold out. There we go. And that, you could, these bigger pieces, you can actually see the jaw marks or whatever they used for a crusher to crush it up. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to finish doing that. And then this rock here was given to me by a friend who I believe, and I mean, I think I can see gold on the outside of it. So we'll crush that up and see. This is not ore. This was found laying on the ground. So we'll crush that up separately and see what we can find in that. There we go. Well, I went ahead and smashed up the rest of that rock. And get going here. Got to have my uh, little mask. Nasty stuff. You don't want to be breathing that crap. got that all screened down but I've still got it just doesn't want to crush down throw it in the food blender good yes I still got my mask on does a great job breaking up that small stuff all right so I went and panned that out and yeah there's some gold in there there's actually a decent piece right there you can see all that little smaller stuff in there <laughs> if you saw my last video and i was talking about the silicone repelling water look what that's doing there's a little bit of silicone in the corner of this pan and it's just pushing the water away look at that that's pretty cool and I see gold almost made it to the edge of the silicone and almost stopped and there's a few other pieces down in there so well, I think that's pretty cool I don't know if I recommend it or if I'll even do it but I just wanted to see what would happen so all right so yeah there's some gold in that rock so to my buddy that found that rock you better be getting some more of that stuff uh, that looks not too bad for that small of a rock uh, so I will continue on with that crushed gold ore and get that all chopped up. All right, well, I'm all done crushing and blending my rock. Got it all panned out. Little furnace all fired up and <laughs> we'll make our first attempt at melting some gold. Okay, I got my little furnace set up here. I think it's going to work. Um, I bought this. This is a new toy for me. 
but I bought this on eBay as used. I say more like homemade. So we'll see how it works. Um, <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I could have made that. So anyway, let's uh, get to melting some gold. And I do want to say I'll probably do a bunch of things wrong since this is my first time, but you know, you got to <laughs> you got to learn at some point. So we're going to go ahead and put in about 50-50 Chapman's Flux. We're also going to add in some Chapman's Thinner. I watched a bunch of videos and hopefully I got everybody does it just a little bit different. So we'll see. This hopefully will make it pour better. We don't want too much of that in there. Pour some thinner in there. And then we'll pour in our gold. And black sand and whatever else is in there. And see if we can make a BB. And I'm going to be pouring it into this cone mold here. Just to see what she does. Okay, I think we're just about ready. Just getting the things warmed up, getting the mold all warmed up. Well, it is a week later now. Um, I have catastrophic failure on my first pour. So, if this one turns out, I will go ahead and tell you exactly what I did wrong so no one else makes those mistakes. Gonna put a little heat on this. I'll go ahead and I'll cool this down. See if we got any gold in the bottom. If not, I know what's wrong is this thing is just not getting hot enough. Since I'm you know I'm assuming this thing is homemade and somebody's selling it used on eBay. It doesn't look like a factory made product to me, so I may be in trouble or may have to get some matte gas or something like that. Okay, it cooled down and I did get a little BB of gold right there. And a couple other little small pieces in there that just kind of flaked off but I did get a little BB of gold back um, like I said my first attempt was a catastrophic failure so first tip I would give anybody that's never done it before do not use one of these uh, turbo torch tips it will warp your crucible and almost cut it in half you can see right here what it did to my crucible and if you ever watch a video and I'm guessing this is right, but uh, you want to run this first with flux and stuff before you put your gold in here. Because all of my gold ended up stuck on the bottom of this crucible. And I had to uh, take the bottom out, of course, smash it up to get my gold back. So I'm sure I lost a little bit of gold there. Uh, but anyway, and on the, on my other problem I was having was just wasn't getting it hot enough. And yeah, it could be the furnace. Maybe I need to do some map gas. But anyway, I got me a little BB of gold and I'll keep playing with this. Um, next, I'm working on a sluice, new sluice box mat, a silicone one. There it is. We'll talk about that a little bit later in my next video. But I'm pretty excited about that. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye now.